You guys, the first and only vice presidential debate of this election cycle was held last night in Salt Lake City in person, despite the ongoing out of control coronavirus, which brings us to a segment we call, Hey! Hey! What are you doing? You held a vice presidential debate live and in person? What's the point? Mike Pence doesn't even look live when he's live. Dude is an in-person Zoom meeting. Whenever he started speaking, I started looking for the gallery view button. And hey, shouldn't he be in quarantine? I heard something like 35 of his coworkers have the virus. Although Pence is probably safe because he's so boring, his coworkers scatter whenever he comes in the room. Run, guys! Pence is coming, and he's telling everyone how his wife just bought new spoons. And hey, is this in any way necessary? I mean, the rest of us have been working from home, schooling from home, making TV shows from home. I did my show from an attic and talked to a goddamn yard sale painting for six months. We've been holding our society together over Wi-Fi, but this, this is the thing that had to be in person? Why? Everybody seems pretty squared away on who they're voting for. Even Ken Bone already decided. Ken Undecided Bone, the dude who freezes up like one of those fainting goats anytime someone says paper or plastic. <laughs> hey, hey, you feel like it's okay to hold a debate in person because you took precautions? Let's take a look at the plexiglass dividers you used. That's it? Is there some kind of plexiglass shortage I didn't hear about? It's a better protection between me and the kid who sells me movie tickets. Good thing the virus only travels in straight lines and can't go around things. I wouldn't feel safe behind that thing during a paintball fight. You'd get better protection from a fishnet condom. And hey, after all the trouble you went through, nobody will remember a damn thing uh, that was said thanks to a fly landing on Mike Pence. And it's a shame because before that happened, Pence was making some very terrible points. I mean, this is like you planned a wedding for six months and got every detail just right, and then your boob popped out during the vows. Nobody's gonna remember the cake now. It's the boob wedding. And hey, this is the most consequential election of our lifetimes, but still, nobody cares about the vice president. You never hear a Midwestern mom say, Kayla's going to regionals as an alternate. The vice president is just there in case of an emergency, and I'm sure Mike Pence hates it, just hates it, that he is literally plan B. This has been Hey.